Okay, hey guys, I'm coming back to, on that, one of my study breaks to kind of just give you this is for my pre dental students who are trying to get into dental school. So I kind of got some information for you guys. Yes, yes. Okay, but anyway, um, I'm going to read you an email that I got from ASDA. On, I, well, I'm just going to tell you what some of the information is and then I'll put the links below. So it's pre-dental week coming up in 2016 and it's February the 21st through the 27th. So they have prizes they, that they will give away. Um, a bunch of good stuff. So it says, if you join ASDA during pre-dental week, you will be eligible for prizes including an Apple iPad mini, $250 Best Buy gift card, um, and a $100 Amazon gift card. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you'll always, let's see, you'll also have immediate access to member benefits, including the guide to getting into dental school, um, handbook, interview tips, application timelines, and discounts on DAT uh, prep materials from Crack DAT to Chad's videos, which are like, they're like A-OK. -okay. They're like the stuff you need to get <laughs> for those exams. Um, and it says during National Week, but during the week, National ASDA will be hosting two webinars. And the first one is February the 23rd. And it's from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Like I said, I'll post this below. And it's called, it's the Scholarships 101. So federal, or federal programs for aspiring dental students. And I'll put the link that you can register for it. Um, but it just kind of helps you get acquainted with the different scholarships that are available to um, dental students or aspiring dental students. So, like I said, I'll put the email in the description box. And then the second webinar is Hot Topics, Mid-Level Providers and Licensure. So, that's February 24th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. I'm sorry, Central Time to both of them. But like I said, I'll put that in the description box below. And it says, the webinar will introduce these two complex issues and help you gain an understanding that will aid you in interviews. So for the mid-level providers, the panelists will define what mid -level, a mid-level provider is. Um, it, shares your, it shares like the different, from which each state is different. So um, it gives you a little bit of insight on that. And then you have um, also one for a licensure, like what you have to do, it depends on what state you're in, it's different. So it just kind of gives you a heads up, even though you really don't have to worry about that until your like third, fourth year, you're about to graduate from dental school. But it kind of gives you an insight on what you need to know. Um, but they do have local events. I'm going to see if I can try to put the link in to download it so you can see exactly where they'll be They're from Arizona, Illinois, Cincinnati, Maine, Colorado, California, Pennsylvania, like going to be a bunch of different places not in dc but if you're the virginia area vcu is going to be having something i'm looking at my computer um but yeah so i'm going to try to put those links below for you guys but i thought that this was a good opportunity for you guys to kind of just get involved before you actually get into dental school or you're trying to get into dental school and then i also have one other thing which is Impressions Day at Howard University. So it is March 5th. Mark your calendars, March 5th. Okay, so it is March 5th, um, 2016 this year from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's gonna be at Howard University, of course, um, which is located at 600 West Street, Northwest Washington, D.C. Um, so the, so I am kind of like getting this out to you, but the registration date is, um, the deadline is February 5th. So, you know, and it's $20 registration fee. Um, but the registration fee is going to include have breakfast and lunch, um, mock interviews. Um, I, I may be, I don't know if I'm going to do an interview in the interviews or not, but yeah, I may be there. Well, I'm, I'm going to be there, but I don't know if I'm doing interviews. But anyway, so you get breakfast and lunch, mock interviews, review of your personal statement. So hopefully you guys have written those um, or kind of gotten 
an idea of how you want to write it. Um, sessions with, like I said, current dental, current dental students, so D1 to D4s, um, you learn to take alginate impressions. Um, so yeah, everything's going great, right? Um, <laughs> and you'll learn about, I guess, pretty much a lot of things. Get some good information from us, right? Get some good stuff. So just remember to bring your personal statement and questions for the panel. Like if you have questions about what we do at Howard um, or other dental schools, like what do we do differently? What do you want to know about how do we study? What do we eat on a day to day basis? Like whatever, like come with questions. <laughs> um, in your yeah. school, and this is not for high schoolers, I'm sorry. It's only for um, undergrad. So if you're an undergrad, you're pre-debt major, and you want to come out and kind of get the rundown of everything, it's Impressions Day at Howard University is March 5th. March 5th. Put in your calendars. Like I said, I'll put the information in the description box of who you need to contact. Um, and then somebody asks about, like, what do you need to do to stay ahead or to get into dental school <laughs> so I always say like keep your grades up that's number one um I guess get involved on campus what else community service different organizations like they want to see that you're well-rounded so not just that yeah you have good grades but are you sociable you have to deal with people on a day-to-day -day basis so from your classmates to your professors so even your patients. So you have to be able to do all of the above. Um, so keep your grades up. Get involved. Shadow. If you don't work in a dental office, if you never have, shadow. Like fi find a dentist, a general dentist primarily, because that's what dental school is for, right? Um, then you can also shadow orthodontist, prosthodontist, periodontist, endodontist, like whatever... Whatever you are interested in, also look to see if you can shadow them. Just, okay, everybody's on Google now, right? So just type in local dentists in your area if you don't know any. And if you do know any, I mean, just call them up and be like, hey, can I come shadow you? Um, I'm pretty sure your schedules allow for time now since you're an undergrad that you will be able to shadow because I'm you have time. So try to shadow as much as possible. Um, go to your general dentist, ask them, do you know any more dentists after you shadow them? But ask them first <laughs> because it's kind of shady if you don't. You know what I'm saying? So ask your dentist first. And then from there, ask them, like, ask he or him or her um, if they know any other dentists that you can shadow. And I'm pretty sure they'll help you out with that. So keep your grades up. Get involved. Shadow. What else? Let's see. Um, like I said, if you don't work in a dental, if you don't work in a dental office, shadow. But if you work in a dental office, it's still like they view that as shadowing. But make sure you have like documentation that you actually sh like shadow or you see what's going on in the office besides just working probably like the front desk or if you're an assistant. Um, check the requirements for the different schools that you may want to um, attend. So if they require you take microbiology or they recommend it, then I would recommend you take that course. So you have options in undergrad, so you don't have, like dental school, like they have your schedule set for you. Most, um, most schools have a list of requirements that you must have, and then they also have a require, not requirements, but recommended classes which they look at because if you take it that means it kind of helps you once you get into school but if you don't take those classes it might be a little bit harder not necessarily meaning that you have to take every single class on that list that they have that are that are recommended but it's good that you do take at least a few of those classes that they recommend so again what's number one keep your grades up <laughs> two Let's see. Get involved. <laughs> Three, shadow. If you don't work in the dental office, shadow. Do both if you work in the office. 
and then four, um, check the requirements for the schools you want to attend. And then the last one is studying for the DAT. So that was a little bit, I guess, harder for me because the first time I can say I, did, I didn't do well on the DAT and I didn't know how to study for it. So what I told you to go to for the, as the pre-dent week, like they, if you sign up for it, I feel like it'll be even better for you because you can figure out what you need to study and how to study. But crack the DAT was bomb and see crack the PAT was also good. I will say you, you will spend quite a bit of money on study material, but I mean, you want to get in, you want to do well. So yeah, you got to just do it. Chad videos help a lot with stuff that I didn't understand if I need to go back over concepts. So just like I said, it's a lot of resources out there and I don't even like, I'm, like I said, I'm in school, so I'm not at home and I gave most of my stuff away already. Um, but I think it's crack the PAT is a really good, good source because a lot of people don't really understand the concept of like seeing the things 3D. So that book was good, but, um, oh yeah. And DAT Destroyer, DAT Destroyer was awesome too. So crack the DAT, DAT Destroyer was good. Chad's videos was good. Crack the PAT. Awesome. Um, and if you like Kaplan, like if you think that'll help, like that'll help, but I did that the first time and I'll, I'll just say I didn't do as well cause I don't think I put as much effort into it that I should have done the first time around. Um, so I had to learn the hard way. Um, so I used the other books and I had, I wasn't as good as in chemistry so I, uh, my cousin was a chemistry teacher. So I'm like, hey, can you teach me? Teach teach me the ways, okay, of chemistry. And then I, I ended up doing, like, really well. So I would say if you have problems with certain areas, then you should get a tutor. Um, it's biology. Biology. Chemistry. Organic chemistry. Reading. Um, compre reading and comprehension, and then math. Yeah, five subjects in the first part, and then the PAT is its own separate score. So you have to kind of balance. So if you don't do well in the PAT, then you might have to retake the whole exam. Like my first time, I did really well in PAT, so I didn't really, really didn't have um, a big problem with that. So I just focus more on the academic side. Um, so yeah, and I'm not afraid to say that I didn't do well my first time around because somebody else out there probably needs to hear that. Like I'm, I'm in school, I didn't do well my first time and I got waitlisted a bunch of times. Well, not a bunch of times, by a bunch of schools the first time around because my scores weren't good. So, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so yeah, just, Five things. Keep your grades up. <laughs> Get involved. Shadow. Look at the credentials that you need for the schools you want to attend. So make sure you get all that together. Go to their website, search it for pre-dental students, and they give you all the information. And then study for the DIT. And once you set a date, that helps you, gives you a time period to study. So hopefully this helps, and like I said, I'll put all the information that I said like really quickly in the link below. Have a good night or have a good day, whatever time <laughs> you see this, guys. All right, bye.